Hello everyone, I'm Jared Malden with your Observer video for Friday. Today we're in the kitchen with Frankie Harvey. Frankie, you are known as the Elegant Gourmet and you're going to cook something up for us today. Tell us about what you're cooking. I'm going to make an avocado and shrimp salad and luscious lobster bites. That sounds great. Right. Now, uh, you were telling me earlier, you're all about cooking fresh, local, seasonal dishes. Uh, what can you tell us about the ingredients we're going to have today? Today our ingredients are right off the Florida coast here, St. Augustine shrimp and uh, Florida lobster tails, so it doesn't get any fresher than that. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so you, you've got a website, you've got a blog, mm -hmm. you've got a cookbook. Yes. Tell me about this journey to, to where we are today. Well, it started as a child and it just evolved. It started with um, my food blog a couple of years ago and evolved to the cookbook and here we are. Here we are. All right. Well, without further ado, we're going to turn it over to you and uh, right, let you cook something up for us. Okay. All right. Thanks. Super. Thank you. All right. So we're going to cut into our avocado and we're just going to go ahead and take the, uh, the seed out, pit it. Okay. Just like so. So what I'd like to tell you about our avocado is when you're going to plate it, go ahead and cut the cheek side off of it here. And that way, when you put it on your plate, it will provide a stable um, environment so that you could just set it on your plate and it's not going to roam around on you there. All right, let's put it up over here. What I like to do with the avocado is score it, uh, not all the way through to the flesh, through to the skin, but just down on the flesh. And we're going to go ahead and put some lime juice in here, a little bit of lime juice, and a little bit of sesame seed oil. Just a little bit, like that, and a little bit of salt. All right, so our ingredients here for the avocado shrimp salad today, I have, of course, shrimp from uh, St. Augustine, and I chose mango, red pepper, cucumber, uh, some red onion, and some jalapeno. And I kicked it up with a little bit of uh, coconut rum. So all you have to do is just to scoop it into your avocado shell, like so. And just go ahead and fill it up, fill them up, be generous. And it's going to be sloppy, but that's okay. And you want to go ahead and top it with some sesame seeds, just a pinch of salt. And we're going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit of sesame seed oil on it, just like so. All right, and then we have our shrimp to place on top of it. Just skewer some shrimp, place it in there securely. And how about a little bit of cilantro to finish it off? All right, so now we have our avocado and shrimp salad finished. And here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> We're going to make our luscious lobster bites right now. So I have fresh Florida lobster tail right here. And I've herbed the butter. Uh, it's tarragon and lemon zest some sea salt and black pepper. You can get all the, the list of ingredients and amounts on my website. And we're gonna go just go ahead and fill our little escargot dish here with our lobster bites. And be generous with them because the lobster does shrink up a little bit on, on there. But I have found that for each dish, it usually takes one tail, one lobster tail. And that's usually about six ounces um, for this for this particular dish right here. And I know escargot dishes all are various sizes. Some are much larger and some are smaller. So for this one, uh, we're using probably about six ounces of a lobster tail right here. So all we're gonna do is put our lobster in there like so. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and top it with some of the uh, tarragon butter that I just made. and. I put it in the refrigerator so I could cube it and it would be a little easier to put up here for you guys, like this. Go ahead and get this butter on. And then all we're gonna do from there is just top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese mixed with some panko bread crumb, crumbs. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on the top of it. So today I thought for a little extra special kick here, um, I brought some white truffle oil and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit up here. So just about two or three little drops and it's ready for the broiler. Alright, 
Here are our luscious lobster bites. Dig in. Frankie, these look amazing. You, uh, you take simple ingredients and you make it look like a five-star meal. Now, where can people go to find more information on this and your other recipes? They can go to my website at frankieselegantgourmet.com. And you have a blog as well. You said you update that at least three times a week. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And that's off your website? It is. Okay, and lastly, you have your Entertaining with the Elegant Gourmet book. Where can people find more information on this book? It's got tons of recipes, and, and you really break it down. And so where can people find that? You can find it on my website as well. Okay. And everything will be on, up on there. So. Great. Well, Frankie, yes. thank you very much. Thank you so it's much, It's been a pleasure. Jared. Thank you. And that's your Observer video for Friday. For news anytime, log on to our website at ormanbeachobserver.com and be sure to like us on Facebook. I'm Jared Malden, and from everyone here at The Observer, thanks for watching.